Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be going over the correct procedure or process to importing a original file and a tune file into WinOLS. Okay, so essentially where you might get these files is from a file service or if you've purchased them uh, and been emailed them with your tuner or myself. Uh, this is how you essentially get them both correctly into WinOL so you can start working with them, okay? So what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open up my own file service and I'm going to pretend essentially that I'm one of you guys and that we are going to be going over the process of downloading a file, okay? So let's just say I'm going to go ahead and do this CLS 550. I've got the original file here. Let's say that's the original file that you guys have um, uploaded from a car that you've read. And here's the tune file that I've sent back to this customer. And we're going to import this into WinOL. So if I open up my downloads folder, you can see here that we've got our original, which is in a zip folder, and the tune, okay? Now you guys might have this um, already set up in folders with your customers and things like that. Um, but essentially what we're gonna go ahead and do is pretty much drag and drop. So you've got open window here like this, drag and drop the original read into WinOS like that. Okay, you can then choose which particular client you want this uh, file saved in. Now, Laboard Motorsport P2I LTD, that's my reseller account. So if I put it there, that means that customers can connect to my WinOS reseller and buy, uh, buy this particular file package with credits. But I'm just gonna put this on my local, which means it's only for my own view, okay? I'm gonna click Next. And then WinOS is gonna automatically search in my database for a matching file. If you've got a 100% of the project and a 100% of the data area, make sure you click Cancel and Import uh, and open the project uh, selected above, okay? If that's not the case and this is your first time, you're gonna basically go ignore similar projects and continue, um, and then you're gonna click next. The checksums, WinOS is automatically gonna try and find the checksum module that uh, is correct for this particular file type um, or file structure, next. And then this is where you start to actually um, enter all of the project properties and define what this file is. So I know that this is a Mercedes-Benz CLS uh, C218 and it's a 63S and I know that it's a VGS NAG3, okay? That's, that's what I know this to be. And you can put in some user-defined values in here. Let's say if, if you want to put your customer name in here instead of up here, um, you can go ahead and do that. So I might go like John Doe as the customer and let's say you want to start naming things, you know, that's the M157 engine and that's a turbo petrol if you, want to, if you want to enter all this information. Entering this information here just makes it easier to search for, right? So if you, if you wanted to, let's say, get back to this particular file type, when you go to your projects and you open projects, you can actually search for different pro all these project properties listed here. So if I went and said, oh, let's say this was a bitbox read, Okay, and the file type, it's just a, I don't know, partial full length. If I actually finish this now, and I've entered all the information here, if I go to project open, and then I search Bitbox OBD, it's actually gonna tell me all of the files that I have defined with Bitbox OBD. So any of the project properties in here, you can search for them in project open, and then the search bar down here. So if I wanna search for MED 17.7.5, which is the M177 engine, um, with Mercedes-Benz, I can do that and I can search for everything. Or if I want to search for a particular customer, I can do that too. And I'll see that Gary with an M, uh, MED 1772A45. So it depends on uh, how you guys would like to define it. Use the project properties and enter details in here that allows you to find your file and your project again. All right, now once this is imported and you've defined all your project properties, you can go ahead and import your stage two file or your, your tune file, whatever it may be. If it's a DPF off, EGR off, whatever it may be, right? So I'm gonna drag this over the window. See this hex dump here? There's no other windows up. You won't be able to do it if that's there. See, it's got, if you do that, it's not gonna do anything. What you need to do is you need to make sure it's just the hex dump. This is the hex dump or this hex here. 
Okay, hex dump. Okay, and then drag it over, let go, click next, and then you can name it and put it in a folder. You can just call it stage two, or you can put it in a folder called stage two, oh, stage two, and then maybe say revision one, something like that. It's up to you how you do it. And if you know that this particular file has a um, performance output of like 700 horsepower and like 1200 newton meters, you can do that. Um, I usually just leave it in no state, just personally leave it in no state, makes things easier to adjust. Um, you got revision one, stage two, because that's what this file is, and I click finish. Now, you can see that if I go project, open version, I've got the original, which I imported first, and now I've got the revision one inside the stage two folder, which is this file here. Now, if I go ahead and try to find this again, CLS uh, VGS, right? And I go today. So you can actually search by when you last worked on these files, right? Or if you bought it, if I go today, CLS, look at that. And on the right hand side, it's got original with version one. If you're not seeing this window on the right, make sure you click these icons up here, right? That's what these icons up here do. If you want to get different uh, filtering tabs, you go right click on any of these tabs and you can select and highlight the particular tabs you want shown when you're in the project database, right? I can go ahead, click enter and I can open the original or the tune again here, click enter again, and there we go, we've opened the tune. All right, thanks for watching this part. Stay tuned for part two.